Uh, hello. Now, in this video, I'm going to be teaching you how to make a random number or a word generator in Python. So, I'm going to be showing you how to do this um, using uh, a downloaded like code runner. I don't even know what to call them or IDE. I don't know what it's called. Um, called PyCharm. And I'm also going to be showing you how to do it just using Google if you don't want to download anything. So, I'm going to do it in PyCharm. Uh, and then I'll show you that it works exactly the same in the Google thing. So I'll leave a timestamp down below to cut to the Google one. So I'm going to open up PyCharm. Uh, if you don't know where to get PyCharm, uh, I'll leave a link to the PyCharm download in the description as well. Um, I really recommend it. It's free. So. What you're going to want to do is once you've gotten one of this open, um, you want to type in as the first line of code, import random. So what this does is it imports uh, basically a library of code that's one already made called random. And this is already built into uh, uh, Python or the uh, PyCharm thing and also with the Google one. So once so once you do that, I usually space it out a little bit. And what you're gonna want to do is the next thing you're gonna want to type is you're gonna. So first, I'm gonna teach you how to make a random word generator. So you're gonna want to make a library of the words. So I'm just gonna name this random words. So this is the name of uh, the list of words I'm gonna be using. So uh, yeah. Also, if you don't want to watch all of this and see how to do it and how it works and stuff i'll just leave uh raw paste data in the description so you can just you know copy and paste what i put in the description so uh, random words uh, which is the name of my list is equal to and you're going to want to do brackets so brackets like this and then you're going to want to put it push each word in a string so you can do like yeah put in a string uh, so, string just means like text basically. So I'm gonna put um, hi as one of them. Um, another space and then string again. And hello. And you're gonna want to add comma after each one to show that it's at the end of that word and the next one. Um, So right here, we have our list. Now, you may get some errors if you're using the PyCharm. This is because, first of all, this is an error uh, of how it's spelled, which is how I want it to be spelled. So, And this should say unused import statement. This is because we haven't used anything using import random yet. But we're going to do that in a second. So next, what you're going to want to do is type the name of the variable of what you want it to be. So I'm going to type in word, because this is the word that is being chosen in from here. So it's random what it takes from here. Word is equal to, and this is what we're going to put, we're going to put random, you're going to put random dot choice, and then inside should auto fill out parentheses. So then what you're going to want to do is in the parentheses you're gonna to want to put the name of your list. So mine is random words. Like this. Then what you're gonna to want to do, drop that on and do print. And then in this instead of putting a string which would normally print like if I were to put print word, that would just print the word word, but I want it to print um, my variable, which is random cho random dot choice, and then in parentheses random word. So we're going to type in a word. Now what this will do is when I press run, as you can see, it'll give a random word. It shows hello. If I run it again, melon codes. If I run it again, Python. If I run it again, hello. So it gives you a random thing. See YouTube. It could be anything. 
Okay, next I'm going to show you how you can make um, the number one. So this is where I'm going to switch from using this to... Um, you can use any word in this, by the way. So now I'm going to X this out, and I don't want to save. Cause that kind of thing. Okay, so this is how you can do it without having to download anything. You can do this straight from Google, which is really cool. You can do um, Google dot Google Collaboratory. So if you click on this. It'll bring up this. Uh, I'm on DuckDuckGo, so uh, it should say it should be this one. Google Collab. What is Collaboratory? I'll also leave a link to this in the description if you just want. Tap in the description. So now what you're gonna want to do uh, is click New Notebook. So once you've clicked New Notebook, it'll bring up this, and you can name this whatever you want. I'm gonna name it Random Number. Uh, hey, uh, this is me editing. I forgot to say there should be a connect button <coughs> in the top right of your screen when you're on the Google one. Don't forget to click that um, when you're doing your coding so that um, it actually works. So with the first line of code you're going to do is import random. Um, perfect. Now you're going to press shift enter if you're on Windows. I don't know what it is for um, Mac. So you see, I gotta check. So this one's much different. Uh, just follow along with what I do. So that's the same thing as if you watched the last part, it's importing random, which is a library of code. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put in. We're gonna put in the. Uh, so say I wanted a random number. So I'm gonna do number is equal to and then we're going to give it um rand a rand rand int it should be called rand int which means this is saying random dot random integer and then you want to put parentheses and you need to put um, so basically you need to put what it can be in between from so say I wanted mine to pick a number between 1 and 50. I'll do 1, comma, 50. Like this. So this will paste a random number in between 1 and 50. So you can control shift like this. See it says it's perfect, doesn't have any problems with it. And all you want to do is print. And in parentheses just put number. Like this. And if you if you press um, I, on Windows, it's Control F9. I'm not sure what it is on um, MacBook, but I think you can go into File and then Run, um, or it might be in Tools where you can find controls. So if I do Control F9, my number is 45. If I do Control F9 again, 45. So Actually, I just realized it's going to keep giving you 45, so I just messed this up. So you need to take this, and you can delete this part. The way that Google Collaboratory is a bit weird, so you have to put this like this. And then this should give you a random number each time. So you see, 9, 41, 32, 32, 48. 16. So you can do this anything, so if I were to do like 10,000 and run it, 8,000, 1,382, so you can get any number like that. Um, and just to show you real quick, what we just did in Pytron will work also in Google Collaboratory. It's a bit different. Um, again, I'll leave the raw pay status to both of these in the description. So if you want to just copy these without learning what they do, you can do that. So I'm going to copy this real quick. And if I just paste this, so if I just delete this one, if I just paste this here like this and run it, Python, Melon Codes, hi, Melon Codes, hi, hi, hi. So, the more uh, things you add, the more variety you'll have, so it'll be more random. 
but I didn't have that many. So normally you'd probably want like a long list. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching my first YouTube video on coding. Uh, if you liked it, uh, please let me know in the comments below. Uh, and leave a like, and don't forget to subscribe because I'm going to be pasting more videos, mainly on Python. I might do Java or Lua in the future, but for now it's just mainly going to be Python. So if you like Python, uh, make sure to subscribe and for more tutorials, and maybe uh, even a, a starting guide for anyone who's new to Python. So let me know in the comments if you'd like that.